Hi there, I'm Jan Rössler. Today I'd like to introduce the new Sunny Boy Storage 3.7, 5.0 and 6.0. Also I'd like to show you how to configure its settings using the web-based user interface web UI. Now we are already connected to the Sunny Boy Storage. It is very easy to connect through wireless LAN Wi-Fi or through wired Ethernet. You can dial into the Sunny Boy Storage directly from your smartphone or tablet or simply log in from your PC. Once you're connected, you will see this home screen. Select your user group, typically installer. And now enter your password and you're ready to go. We start with this overview, configure the device and simply click on configuration with installation assistant for an easy step-by-step -step configuration. Commissioning then always starts with this first configuration step, network configuration. Here we can see which home network our Sunny Boy storage is connected to. For initial configuration, please always try to use the wired version based on Ethernet. The integrated wireless LAN interface is more suitable for commissioning and maintenance purposes directly at the Sunny Boy storage. Once this setup is done here, click Save and Next in the bottom right corner and we already go to step number two. Here at step number two, we can set time and date, but I would just leave it set to automatic time synchronization on. However, that only works also according to the little note here on the right, if the Sunny Boy storage is connected to the internet. That is not the case, you can set the automatic time synchronization to off. And then just enter the correct date and time manually. However, in our today's example, we can simply leave the automatic time synchronization set to on since we are connected to the internet. After this has been finished, we click on Save and Next yet again. Now we are at step number three, where we can select the country standard of the public grid that the Sunny Boy storage is connected to. So for example, if we want to run our Sunny Boy storage on the Australian grid, we would set the country standard to AS4777 for Australia. This is what we do here at set country standard. Here at step number four, we can configure the energy meter. So first of all, you choose the energy meter used together with the Sunny Boy storage. For most of the world, this would typically be the SMA energy meter. But for the US version of the Sunny Boy storage, this would be a Modbus RTU energy meter. If it is an SMA energy meter or a SMA Home Manager 2.0, it will be displayed here with its serial number. If that's the case, then you can click on Save and Next again. Now we come to step number five, in which the grid management service configuration can be set. This is quite helpful since different grid requirements must be fulfilled depending on the country in which the Sunny Boy storage is used. First of all, we can choose the correct line conductor the Sunny Boy storage is connected to, for example, phase L1. If feed-in management or limitation at the grid connection point is required, this operation mode can be selected next. For this, you should know that the PV systems based on SMA inverters with WebConnect functionalities are able to receive feed-in management commands from the Sunny Boy storage directly. For example, the Sunny Boy storage could automatically limit the power flow to the grid connection point in a range from zero to 99%. So for instance, limiting to 70% would be possible with the setting that I have chosen here. However, in our today's example, this feed-in management is not required, so we simply deactivate it by selecting off again. 
By choosing the feature Activate Unbalanced Load Limitation, we can limit the unbalanced load for the phase chosen above. In our example, we just limit to 5000 Watt. Already at step 6 now, we can set the battery configuration. The installed battery will be shown here automatically. The Sunnyboy storage is already prepared for the connection of up to three high voltage batteries, even as a retrofit. In the next segment, you can perform a battery function test in which the battery is charged or respectively discharged. Please always start with charge battery. Once we click that, it takes a little while to actually perform the test, but that's quite normal. After that has been done, there's not much more to do here and we can go on to the final step by clicking save and next once again. The new Sunnyboy storage is equipped with an integrated secure power supply, through which it can supply power to small loads in case of a grid outage. Or if you choose the optional battery backup box, it would even be able to supply your entire home during a grid outage. If you have this battery backup box option, you should choose automatic as operating mode here. Or you could immediately start a test of the battery backup supply by choosing forced as operation mode here. But in our today's example, we simply switch this backup feature off. But keep in mind that this feature can be retrofitted if a customer changes his or her requirements at a later time without any problems. So let's click save and next for the very last time now, which will lead us to the summary of all the parameters that have been set during our configuration. Please use the summary to double check the settings and maybe even export the summary or even all parameters for your documentation. If now all settings are correct, please press the button continue and from then onwards your Sunnyboy storage is ready to increase your self-sufficiency.